Fox News, we're finding ways to make health a top priority for you. So in today's Your Health First, PJ Walker is live to tell us why the symptoms of a stroke can actually stay hidden. PJ. That's right, Lauren. Doctors say when you think you're having a stroke, to remember the acronym FAST. Facial drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulties, and time. But sometimes that's still not enough. What made this a stroke? Because all I ever knew about a stroke was that FAST. James Henderson says he started his Saturday morning like normal, or so he thought. After he woke up, he noticed something wasn't quite right. And I noticed when I started eating, I had absolutely no taste. <laughs> So my first thought was, did you season this? But what he discovered next was no laughing matter. Along with no taste, Henderson also experienced blurred vision. Neither were normal signs of a stroke, but with the push of his wife, he went to the doctor. He said, did you realize that you had uh, a mild stroke? A deep left lacuna stroke. Henderson says he still hasn't fully wrapped his mind around it. Dr. Faria Salim says there are even more symptoms of a stroke that people may not be so familiar with. You could have trouble understanding speech, so not just you not being able to speak, but you not being able to understand other people speaking to you is actually a common symptom of a stroke that not many people know about as well. She says even when you think you could be experiencing normal day-to-day -day symptoms like a headache, you can never be too safe. If you have symptoms and you're like, yeah, I was leaning from my arm, but this has never happened before, it's been an hour, I'm still having numbness, is better to get checked out than to end up sipping through a straw because you had a stroke. As for Henderson, he says he can't stress enough that people should not ignore the signs. The only thing I would do is just encourage, especially men, if you have any of these symptoms, please go and get checked. Um, and it goes beyond, again, it goes beyond what we as a whole know uh, what strokes are. Henderson says he's been doing a lot of research on the topic and is making a few lifestyle changes so he can try to prevent this from happening again. Lauren, back to you. So very interesting. PJ Walker reporting. Thank you. Stay tuned.